So from time to time I get asked what software I use to make a screen recording and within Windows or within Linux I tend to use Focus Screen New Generation and it's free and open source and it's got a really simple easy to use out of the way user interface. So let me just go to the Vocal Screen NG website and download Vocal Screen NG. So the installation is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is select next a few times, accept a license agreement and then select install and then accept the user account control prompt. So if we go ahead and launch the software, we see that it's got a very simple user interface. So we can select the full screen or an area. We can change the file format. It's MKV by default. I prefer MP4. You can optionally change the number of frames per second or the quality. Typically, I use this as default. You can opt to record the mouse cursor or not. And you can have it set to minimize when the recording starts. Otherwise, there's a start and a stop button. And actually, let me just maximize it again. So if you highlight the start and stop buttons, it gives you the shortcut keys to start and stop the screen recording. So let me just, I don't know, scroll up and down using the start menu. And I'm actually carrying out a screen recording just now. And if I press Control, Shift and F11, the screen recording will stop and it's going to show in the videos folder. So I can go ahead and open up the screen recording and you can see the screen recording when I showed the vocal screen NG and then I went to the start menu and scrolled up and down and you can see the quality of the screen recording is, is pretty good. So that screen recording within the operating system itself. Now to screen record out with the operating system, you're going to need to use a USB free video capture device. So if we have a look at this, we see on one end, we've essentially got a HDMI port and the other end, we've got a USB free port. Now I bought my USB free HD cap years ago and the software that came with it was pretty lousy. So I actually used Debut Video Capture to, to operate it and Debut Video Capture for some reason thought it was a webcam and only the older version of Debut Video Capture worked with it. However, it seems that they've finally addressed the software limitations and they've made a Stream Capture Pro software. So I've got the USB 3 plugged into my XPS 13 9365 and the HDMI plugged into an Optiplex 7040. So if I go ahead and restart the Optiplex 7040, we see the restart screen and this is being screen recorded. Now, unfortunately, it says no signal as the system restarts. And this is because it momentarily loses signal and then this auto setting is applied. So it's scanning through all the different video um, input settings of the USB HD capture device and when it can't find one it's continually scanning through so it just says no signal. If we lock it to HDMI and perform a restart then we see no signal for, for a moment and then we see the Dell UFI BIOS screen and we'll be able to see the Dell UFI BIOS setup if we press F2 or the Dell UFI boot menu if we press F12. Okay, so that's not actually done a screen recording because we've not told it to record. But notice at the bottom we've got this record button. So I'm going to select record. And now I'm going to restart my Optiplex 7040. So I should now record the restarting screen and then I should see the no signal for a second, followed by the Dell UFI BIOS logo, and then be taken back to the Windows 11 login screen. Okay. 
Okay, so I can stop the screen recording now. And when I do so, I'm taken to the folder where the screen recordings saved. So I could move it to another location if I want. Let me just open it up and we see that screen recording works exactly as expected. So it captures the screen recording from the device and obviously when we restart we lose power for a moment and this is where it says no signal. Now in the past um, stream capture software would basically end your video there, everything after this would be corrupt. However this continues as normal and we see the Dell UFI bias logo and then we see the Windows 11 login screen. So when using the USB HD cap it's obviously a lot easier to perform a screen recording on a desktop because a desktop expects um, monitor output. A laptop on the other hand expects the output to be on the laptop screen. That being said, for the Dell XPS laptops, for example, you can attach a Dell Thunderbolt dock to them. And the Dell Thunderbolt dock has a power button. So the power button can be used to power on the laptop when the laptop screen is closed. And this will feed all the video output to the external monitor. And this can be the USB 3 HD cap. So sometimes I use this to screen record my XPS 13.9365. So in the Stream Catcher Pro software, if we just start our screen recording and then double click in the video preview, what it's going to do is expand the preview to full screen so you'll be able to see what you're screen recording uninterrupted. And then to escape, we just double click on the mouse and it will give us the very small preview and then we can double click in this again to get the stream capture software to display using the default display that we seen earlier on. The Vocal Screen NG screen recording software for some reason doesn't display the output of stream capture when the stream capture is set to full screen. So I did effectively need two USB 3 HD caps in order to perform a screen recording of the screen recording to see this properly.